welcome back to Two A Wolf. Um, it's in the eighties now. This is some nice weather. So, anyways, so welcome back. Thank you so much for following along on the build for the Eva truck. Um, it's near completion. I'll show you some of the stuff that we did, um, and then probably in, in like Memorial Weekend or something, we'll do a full walk around type of thing. So I did have the truck go in for a full service. That was like six hundred and thirty bucks. But it's done. Um, he did recommend to get some new tires, so I'm gonna have to get that done. Those are expensive. Get that done because I want it very reliable. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So uh, I did install the generator. It's not maybe in the best place, but then again, it's about the only place I can put it. And we will do the startup today to find out if it works. Did put some straps on the TV, found out that moves around. And went ahead and put a t the temporary line in for the air conditioner. And, oh, and she also got some wood uh, shiplap for the ceiling. So I'll be playing with some of that. I did the spray foam and the big crack there. So I'll go through and get that all solved up. But, yeah, it's just kind of like little stuff here and there. Oh, let me show you about what we did on the... On the cabinet so she found these bins and we put the non-slip stuff in here um, that'll go there and then we're gonna go ahead and use um, use the ties to try to hold stuff shut so yeah man it's a big sink anyway so yeah so I'm gonna wrap up the AC stuff fire up the generator and make sure that all works Supposed to be remote start. Does some all. Get it turned on. Okay, it's flashing green. Remote start. The battery's low. I forgot to turn the fuel on. Aha! Uh -huh. And a new set of shoes for Eva. Man, those things are huge. Yeah, it's like 1700 bucks, but new set of tires. And we have another storm coming in. Doggone storms. Wind's starting to blow. Well, up there in Iowa got hit pretty hard. We're gonna have uh, one just come, one come to the north of us. Wind blowing pretty good. Well, beautiful day today after Iowa got hammered. Anyways, got the got the truck back after. Are you following me? Thought you don't like walking on rocks. This is a uh, alley cat. Anyways, uh, so I did find out a couple things. Oh, so I got the got the truck back from getting new shoes. I showed you that already. Ugh. But um, I did find out a couple things. Um, so some of these drawers. So I got the child lock stuff, but the problem is, is that they don't work. I mean, they work, but they don't. So. 
they work when they're right like that i don't know if you can see this but only half of it can touch here because so it can clip onto the female clip that i put in put in there the problem is this sticks up too high and it hits the drawer so then you can't close the drawer all the way <sighs> oh and then she did find um she did get bins uh these bins and anti-slip stuff um for all the cupboards so that's kind of cool and then we're still going to do this anyways so hit some pretty good holes found out those actually hold um, I just have them on loose right now, but if you double them up, they're real tight. Um, this one did open. Um, so I started thinking, how about if I put this on the side so it catches the drawer? And then you can just lift up like that to open the drawer. So I can put that back there and lift up. That way it's firm. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna see what, see what happens. Guess I should have had that on tape. Um, not really sure why it broke. Was I pushing too hard? I figured the drill bit would have melted right through it. That's kind of strange. I'll try. I got an extra one. I'll try it. Okay. Try this. You want me to try to go too fast? Maybe. Okay, that time I let the bit get a little hot. So that seemed to work. Now I just need to cut this off. Okay. So we'll see if this, see if it works. One, uh, the one thing I didn't anticipate I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a slight curve back. And when I tried to install it like this, it's actually, and then anchored it, it was actually pulling back away from where I want to catch. So you could open the drawer still. So I'm going to try to put a washer in there to level it out. It almost looks like I need to put a screw closer to the front, but then if it's too stiff, you might snap it off trying to open it. Uh, I'll try a couple things before I put a second screw in there. Well, putting a washer in actually made it worse. So, take that washer out, and I guess I'll just have to put in another screw to bring it over. Not a big fan, but so I did what I did so I put the sec screw, second screw in there, and that didn't pull it any closer. But I went in and heated it up and hooked it over more. So it definitely holds the drawer shut. And it's not breaking off, seems like. So do that on the bottom, I guess. Wow, look what she got. So she got this magnetic knife holder from Australia and what's kind of cool because I was worried about having it up somewhere like on the wall above the butcher block because it would slide off but this one also has a slot the knives go into with magnetic look at this Bruin set man this is this is hot Woo! it's nice so we'll get that set up right there, I think. Man, that's gonna look sweet. You know, sometimes they say he tells you when to wrap up for the day. So I found some, what I thought was heavy duty screws so I could put this on. Um, it appears to be a heavy duty screw and the effing head snapped off. Okay, so yeah, let's just wrap it up for the day and think about what to do. Obviously, I'll have to 
figure out how to unscrew that or get that lower because that sticks up a little bit. I don't know if I can grab it with pliers or not, but I got a hole there and had one there. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Well, I got it fixed. So it's magnetic, but then it has a spot that it is magnetic and slice it in. Man, these things are sharp. So so that way when you're traveling, then you can just put them in like that. Hopefully they don't come flying out. That one seems a little top heavy, but yeah, pretty nice. Okay, God, got that done. That screw sucked, but got it done. So I hung up a couple more things. Got the coat rack. Got this um, poster thing the wife got. Really nice. So we went through and um, got stuff populated in, you know, the drawers and stuff she got the dishes and stuff i think we ended up with more cabinet stuff than what we needed but um there's a lot of cabinets double checked everything to make sure everything was working yeah so we could do oh and thanks to one of the viewers um he told me to make sure i use the space underneath it worked out good because we ended up putting the propane stove underneath there for outside and then the grills and grates down there so that worked out really good so thank you yeah anyways and then got those knives stuff done got the other picture hung up i think i'm gonna make um so the june 1st deadline is kind of what i put on myself back in november of trying to get this done um it's not a hundred percent and i'm going to keep working on it um there is some so she picked out some uh, kind of like a cedar shiplap which is going to go onto the ceiling it's going to start in the bedroom and it's going to work its way all the way down here so i'll work on that but still want to uh take us out for a dry run um, I still got to get the solar panels on there, but I got to take all the satellite dishes and stuff off. So that's going to take me a bit. The weather has not been cooperating. However, today is actually a really nice day. So, yeah, so that's kind of nice. Anyways, um, and then she got some odds and ends and stuff to put up to make it a little more homely. And, yeah, moving along. But I'm going to make that June 1st uh, deadline. Memorial uh, weekend is here. And uh, I'm not going to go out on the weekend because there's a million other people out this weekend. But um, probably going to go out sometime during the week. And we're going to pick a place that um, we know, you know, how the parking is and stuff. Just so we can do a kind of like a dry run. Test out the battery. Test out some stuff. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So, anyways... Um, so that's it for this one. Um, we will do a walk around and a show and tell type of thing and we'll get that posted. So probably next week I'll try to get something posted and let you guys see what else is going on and see how our dry run's going. So pretty much done. 95% done. So anyways, but I want to say thank you very much for following along. All your questions, comments, concerns are always really nice. So if you have them, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Two-Way Wolf.